finally, they won. Finally, Paraguay has actually won one of these polls. I do a lot of polls to figure out which country I play. I think Paraguay has lost the most times out of any country. It's kind of depressing. So we're gonna play them now in this completely normal South America. Oh, look at this. The United States of America is taking all of our immigration. This is how Europe looks. It's just HPM. I didn't change anything. Okay, Brazil is allied with beans and the world cuppers. What the heck? You know what? We're just gonna propose peace and give it to them. Here we go. We're taking over Rio Grande do Sul. Brazil, you can have Mato Grosso. We don't care about it any longer. Uh, Brazilian patriots. I don't know if we can actually destroy them. Looks like Brazil has taken this opportunity as a chance to try to defeat Paraguay. Oh, the darn patriots gave them this. Alright, I'm not sure how we're gonna defeat Brazil here. Uh, they are a lot stronger than us in a lot of ways. But they're actually alone. We just have to work together. With the power of friendship, we can do it. Oh no, they're they're, they're crawling in Bolivia. No. Oh no. No, Peru is dead. It's just our army now. This is like a survival horror. Look at that. Brazilian patriots. Not even the patriots want to be a part of Brazil. That's how horrible this country is. Alright, we're gonna try to take Santa Cruz. An attempt to justify war using... Uh-oh. Uh, Brazil looks like they're trying to bring France in against us. What the heck? Why am I taking loans from the guys we're at war with? This is war profiteering. Not a fan. Oh. Uh, disarray. The reason I called this was because at this point I was expecting to own half of South America. Uh, things have not gone to plan. Let's see how this goes. Ooh. They're losing. Oh, we're losing. We're winning! We won! I don't know, I think we're gonna be able to put a ticker on Mato Grosso soon. Huh? What? Why did they get a white piece? I didn't want a white piece, I was winning! This is- uh, this is disgusting, what am I doing? Why did I do this? I forgot about that entirely. Brazil, you are a very violent little fella, aren't you? Oh crap, uh, yeah. Uh, the- they are... They're there. They're definitely there. All right, well, this is, uh, this is it. Uh, either we win or we don't. <laughs> they have a three attack. Okay. Frick you. Frick you. Frick this game. Frick everyone. <sighs> to be fair, this is probably how Paraguay felt during this, uh, period. In, uh, in real life. Oh, look at that. Look at that. Argentina. Why is Argentina... Uh, uh... I, I can't get a freaking army! I can't get an army! Who are they at war with? Okay, Beans is here. Wait. Wait, this is actually good. Wait, this is actually really good. This is actually- this actually couldn't be better. If we can defeat them. We can defeat them! Look at that! I do not have the ability to make more soldiers. Come on, we need to reproduce. Make polygamy legal, come on. <laughs> come on, guys. Apparently the Argentinian high command is in absolute disarray. Quite fitting. I have a little bit of a surprise for you guys after- Okay, Argentina, you're going between Azul and Junjun. Their, their, their command is on another level entirely. You have no clue what they're trying to do. Chaos is a natural state of war, and chaos is a natural state of Argentina. It's no fair! Well, things are starting to move a little bit. I don't think Paraguay ever got quite this far. They definitely tried, though. Huh? I said to command your units, you idiot. Well, we're losing because uh, I, I lost command of their units. That's nice. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. They're, they're stuck. You're freaking stuck. We're actually just dead because this game was playtested by a freaking monkey. Probably somewhere in the UK. He could not play video games. So they say, no, the, the, the monkey. The monkey can do the video game. Oh. Oh, they really, they really got, got, huh? They really lost. They had a 50-something stack. I might have screwed them up there. Maybe it, it was better that they were on the island. Uh, I'm gonna have to give them more subsidies. <laughs> have zero bucks a day. Oh, there we go. We get everything. Man, Brazil isn't building any uh, units up again. I'm not sure what happened, how we broke them, but I guess Mato Grosso just really made it so everybody's too depressed to actually do anything. I remember when I played Argentina. It was a while back. It did a pretty bad video. But uh, I kept on having to station units in Paraguay because uh, rebels kept on coming up and they kept on breaking free from me. Um, the reverse is not true, strangely enough. This massive thing is actually pretty easy to keep. This isn't going well. Lots of communists. Commun uh, red wave. Even Peruvian communists. 
absolute red wave going on over here. This is gonna be the greatest election in the history of elections, baby. Big move, make puppet, hopefully. France does not join, they will join, but I mean, I'm hoping that they won't. If we add a war goal to Peru, then we will be able to separate pieces out Uruguay. The communists are trying to impose their ways upon us, but luckily for us, they have no allies and are kind of stupid. Oh, we win. Okay. Uh, and yeah, we have this back. I, I told you I'd get it back, little man. This is the first time we actually have immigrants anywhere in our country. They're like, hey, Paraguay, I, I heard they defeated the communists, so I want to go there. Uh, peace line. These are not just harmless exercises. We are currently engaged in a war for our own populace. Argentina, out of pity, is helping us. They just stack wiped us. What the heck? Okay, we need to unlock gas attack so we could use it on the protesters. But there was a coup. Why do they get to just have a coup like that? That's not cool. Okay, Honduras. Like, I, the freaking Honduras is now not paying their debts to me. They're like, oh, those guys can't even hold it. Freaking Argentina. I, I just gotta go back and hope that that event doesn't happen. That I, I can't. <laughs> I just don't. Okay. I was about to take a drink from my cup, and I realized that there's a silverfish in here. If you don't know what a silverfish it is, it's a, it's a little. It's not a fish. It's a little bug. I'm not sure how it got in there. Uh, I'm gonna take five. All right, I'm back. I changed my underwear, and we're ready to start Paraguay once more. Don't worry, the silverfish is in heaven now. What even ca- Okay, well they just stole some of my army. And died. Absolute legends. Why is everybody so violent? Oh, it's going up as well. Oh, but it's going down minus point one because of equality. Oh, the British have, uh, the British are, we're, we're in a crisis against Brazil. France Joseph's little playground is back to us. That probably brings our chances of winning down. And yet more rebels. Oh, we can do it. We actually got the, oh, because we won the crisis. We got the prestige. Oh my gosh, we're, we're in such a, this is so be so much better. But now we have 28 infamy. We could release ourselves as Argentina if we wanted to. That might be a better, uh, situation to live in. Oh, look at that, 3,000 something, and they declared war on us. Now, the good thing is, we can actually declare war on, um, Bolivia, right here, like this, because, um, s since they're protected by the USA, and the USA declared war on us, they obviously can't protect it if we declare war on them now, you know what I'm saying? All right, there we go. We have defeated them. Oh, they're still alive. They're still alive. And they're still alive! Why are you still Oh my gosh, uh, we might be going communist, actually. Things are actually coming together. In 1918, we are finally getting ourselves out of debt. Oh, this this has been long overdue. We will ally with the North Germans. We might be able to get a great, great war yet. We will ally with South Wallonia. This is, this is kind of sending mixed messages, I think. All right, France, what do you want me to join in? The Second Great War? So we're now in the Great War. Truly, this is gonna be the most intense thing ever. We're a bit late. Th thank you, France, but how did you get yourself into this situation, honestly? I have clippers. We're making clippers. Also, nobody's making clipper transports anymore. Yeah, no more war. We literally saw no war, but we were absolutely terrified from what we saw. <laughs> oh, the King Empire has westernized. They're going to beans? Holy crap, that's a lot of people. Oh my gosh, you can see- holy crap. What, what do they have that I don't? Oh, well, I'm a communist. I guess that's probably- yeah, fair enough. Oh no. The people wanted the Chinese to move to our country. In their desperation, the people of the United Provinces ro rose up in revolt. And they went behind a new man. A man called Senor. Senor Adolf. This, this man told them that they had to rise up and take over the entire state. It's said that this man came from Germany after losing the Great War, and he came with a vengeance. He wanted to turn the United Provinces into an ally to destroy the French Walloonians. Yes, go on, my fascist children. Take over Asuncion. The doctrine of fascism has been discovered. Adolf has landed. Who's that man? He's walking into Buenos Aires right now on a boat. A clipper convoy. Everybody is so happy to see him. He went into hiding for like two years after he immigrated. But he's back. The plantine destiny awaits. Okay, Senor Hitler, he doesn't like these Jacobin fellows all that much. He's telling the army that maybe they're not the best people to have around. It's working. I don't know what the army's doing, but I think they're talking to them and the, the Jacobins are deciding to go home. Oh, okay, and that's the- that's the communists. Okay, the communists are back. Okay, I don't think a lot of people like this, uh, this, uh, Senor Adolf, uh, 
fellow very much. Oh, France joined us. That's nice. The US joined them. That's... that's... I wish I could tell what's happening. <gasps> We've done it. Finally, I was trying to get this for so long. Thank you, Supreme Leader. Thank you because I am joyful. Thank you because I am well. No matter how old I can, I will never forget how we received our Supreme Leader. Centuries will pass and generations still to come will regard us as the happiest of mortals, as the most fortunate of men. Our inspired leader, everything belongs to the chief of our great country. And when the woman I love presents me the child, the first words it shall utter will be, Supreme Leader, the men of all ages will call on thy name, which is strong, beautiful, wise, marvelous. Thy name is engraven on every factory, every machine, every place on the earth, and in all hearts of men. I have experienced a great desire to sing, to cry out, to shout with joy and happiness, and now see me, me, on the same platform where the great Supreme Leader stood a year ago. In what a country, in what part of the world could such a thing happen? We're in debt again, but the greatest debt is the one that we owe to our Supreme Leader. What is Supreme Leader in Spanish? Leader Suprema, or this feminine, Leader Supremo. Okay, I don't think that anything has changed whatsoever. The communists are still rising. This is obviously a, a ploy by Trotsky to try to take over our country. What is a Trotsky? Hey, look, we can get Raycons, the sponsor of this vid. No. Uh, uh. Well, nobody liked that guy anyways. Honestly, I think that Senor Stalino is, is probably a better, pr probably a better guy. He came in from Russia after they uh, took over, um, something, I don't know, I was Russian, he was like, oh, I don't, there's too many Germans in this country, so he came over here, right, he's like, yeah, I'm gonna teach you guys how to be communist. Nobody needs the supreme leader, come with me, comrade, and we will make a greater United Provinces for the proletarian to live in. British Commonwealth is on our side, versus the USA, and France is joining against us, uh-oh. 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 Wait, the USA is actually- wait, wait, no, it's not even- we're not even in this one, what am I talking about? Anyways, the Jacobins. No more comrades, no more supreme leaders, we're going back to the simple way that things once were. We're going back to the way it was when the gauchos- I don't know how to say that actually- gaucho. Argentinian cowboys ruled over this whole area, Weeha. Well, I, I guess- I guess the guanchos are dead. Go to Gulag. Oh, fascists again, the supreme leader. He didn't actually die, he just went to a strange place called Germany and came back again. He was like, I'm, I'm, I'm screwing with this, honestly. Oh, the time has come to complete the workers' revolution. Are you sure? Well, anyways, we'll make them work like never before. Uh, it appears that South Africa is trying to take over beans. The Supreme Leader is coming back. I can't believe this. What a wonderful time to be alive. We get to live in the, in the Supreme Leader's shadows. I kiss every single one of his footsteps. Oh, more fascists. Yeah, the Supreme Leader is back in style, guys. I pray to the Supreme Leader. Kiss him. K lick his lick his toes. Lick the crevices in between them. Get all that gunk out. Because, frankly, the dirtiest part on him is cleaner than any human being in the entire planet. The Romanian War of <laughs> Transylvania. <laughs> what the heck is this? Why is... Why are they so... Uh, the Romania can't win, except for the fact that I'm war leader, and you already know what I'm gonna do. The Chinese, the freaking Chinese are on our side. But there's just no way we can win! Not when the Supreme Leader isn't on our side! I'm sorry, Franz Joseph, but the you know, you, you, you have a cult-like fixation around one guy, just like us. You know we can't do it without the Supreme Leader in, on charge. Oh, uh, Switzerland's in on this now, they're like, yeah, we could get free land? Yes, yes you can. <laughs> <laughs> All hail the Supreme Leader. In this resounding victory for Plantians everywhere, I think we're gonna wrap it up. This this is about it. So this was fine and all, but there was another time that we had a cold light fixation around one person, and that's when we played Italy. So be sure to check that out. Bye-bye.